Hey all, so here is video of me working on repairing the rust in the right rear corner of the van. So enjoy. So I'm peeling this previous quote unquote repair off in here. It's, sorry, I had to cut there. I need both hands to pull this off to do the ungodly amount of silicon that they used to stick this piece of aluminum flashing in here. So when I look in here, that's the plastic liner for the footwell. That's the footwell area. This is solid steel up here. This whole flange here feels nice and solid. And then of course, as previously established, this area is all rotted to shit. I'm actually, I think I'm touching the door there, not anything else. Let's find out. Yep, door hole confirmed. So, essentially, what I'm going to need to do to fix back here is clean up all of this disaster that's here right now and just make a plate that can weld to this existing flange on these two sides. This area is damaged, but that's going to be an easy flat plate fix. I'm going to have to cut out the damaged part of the um, pillar here and make a new piece to go in there. I have this rocker panel, assuming that the one I have is correct for a barn door, not for a slider. So it might be easy, easier depending on what ends up being structurally sound here. Actually, you know, this upper rocker seems fine. So I may leave that as a reference point. And then I have this outer wheel well here. So that's also fine. So I think I need to get this step liner out and probably gonna have to peel back carpet as well and start cleaning up here. This is the end of the inner rocker here is rotted, but it feels like most of the rest of it's, eh, it's a little crunchy, but the end of it's crunchy, the further around it seems fine. So I'm gonna have to rebuild all of that. I need again to replace this entire wheel well. I have plenty because the Replacement one comes all the way up here and all the way down here. Obviously not going to use that, but I think I'm going to... This piece, this edge here of the door frame, I'm going to save. I'm not going to try and replace that if I don't have to. I'm going to have to a little bit down here, but for as much of it as possible. So I'm going to come in fairly tight around here, if I can, to replace it. And then back here, I'm going to bump out and probably use the entire piece for this rear section that's rotted, and I'm gonna to have to do possibly a little rebuilding on the inside there, but it actually feels like there's not much that we need rebuilding there. That's not rotted through. This is rotted to, through to the back piece, but the back piece is still essentially solid. So I have a lot of spot weld dr drilling in my immediate future, I think. And then I'm gonna start hacking up some metal and get it in there. All right, surprisingly, this is an improvement. I am at the point now where I've cut away everything that I can cut away before I start rebuilding because I need reference points. But um, things are actually not as bad in here as they look. Um, there's a lot of very solid metal. There's a few pieces that almost seems like they were the sacrificial rust pieces, like almost like a sacrificial anode kind of situation. So, this piece here that makes up the step 
is completely solid till you get to this point here. It's actually solid a little bit further down, but essentially that's the last point where it's totally solid. This is the back um, inner rocker, which is completely shot to about an inch in up here and then just a little bit more where the opening was over here. What I'm going to be able to do here is cut this away and then after I've fitted, I'm going to do one of two things. I haven't decided yet. I'm either going to cut that away, create a piece using this as a reference point, but what I'm more likely going to do is leave that away, cut away, or actually just maybe even leave it like this until I've got other stuff built in and then I can build this back out to it. But the pillar here, because this stuff is all solid, this is the, this is actually the outer rocker up here because this is solid, this is solid, this is solid, and essentially that's solid back there, and this is still here to give me a reference point. All I'm going to need to do is basically bend a 90 degree piece to replace this section of pillar here, and I just have to bring, I'm going to have to just cut it off over here, bring this down till it meets here in a way that's flush and follows this line, and then that'll be fixed. I'm going to basically do the same thing back here with another separate 90 degree that's going to come down in this little bump here that may be hard to see but that little bump that's the former corner outer corner so i have to just make a piece that goes from there to there and then that's going to take care of that and then over here this is rotted but again just to, i'm going to make a 90 degree i'm actually probably gonna yeah i'm going to make a 90 degree for here and go from about just above this ground off bit down to here and that'll be that piece, which when I do the outer skin, when I do that corner there, I'm going to cut that at the same place, and then I'm going to bend that piece out and weld them together there, and then that'll join that. And then I've got a couple more small 90 degrees in here. But again, the same thing. I've got a top and a bottom, so all I have to do is make these pieces... Oops. All I have to do is make these pieces go from the top to the bottom of the spaces where they're supposed to be. So this is all going to be fiddly and annoying, but not actually hard. I could try and make this all in one piece, but I think I'm just better off bending 90 degree pieces and just overlapping or butting them up as works best. And then this is going to get plated. Um, I may wait, actually, now that I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, I may wait, and instead of making a plate that just covers this, I may make a plate that comes all the way out and just fills this entire area here. Um, but again, I'm not sure. And then this rocker is rotted to about here. So what I can do is go out to about here and cut it like this and cut it across the top and then use a piece of this rocker to replace that section. And because my seam will be up in here, it'll be basically invisible the same way as when I did it, did the rocker replacement on the Osmobile. So I've got a lot of little fiddly pieces to make in here, but it's all going to be, it's pretty much all going to be 90 degree pieces just welded together. There's not a lot of complicated curves I've got to make or anything. Like, um, this might be the most complicated thing here, and even that I think I can get away with a straight piece, and it'll be basically invisible, especially if I leave it a little bit long but don't weld it to the bottom. And then after I put this top piece in, I can sort of fiddle with it to get it exactly where I want it. And then as far as this wheel well goes, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to hack the wheel well, like, so it fits around this, so it's somewhere in this area. You know, so it's probably up about where this body line is here, out, because it's solid. This is rotted, this is rotted, this is solid, and then it's rotted again down here. So I'm probably not going to replace this piece. Probably going to have my patch panel come from down here, jog around this come up here and then drop down right there. Um, but the best way to do that is to get your piece roughly into the shape, get it secured in, and then just cut through both layers with the um, angle grinder. Because then you'll know the opening is the same size because the two pieces were stacked on top of each other when you cut it. And that slight gap that you create from that will allow you to move the piece up very slightly to fill that. And I should get a reasonably decent fit. It's not going to be an amazing fit because I'm not an amazing body person. But that should give me a pretty respectable fit there. This back here looks like it's going to be fairly easy because the back of it feels pretty solid. 
and because again I have metal out to here I have more than enough to come there's a body line right there so I can basically come in just under that body line and like way out to here and cut that off and then drill all the spot welds out of this take this piece off weld the other one in done All right, I'm done for tonight because it's 10 o'clock and I don't hate my neighbors enough to keep grinding any later. And grinding is the next step I have to do, but made really good progress here. I've got this bend in, this bend in, and this bend in. Um, yes, these welds need to be ground down and redone. Some of them need to be, um, some of them just need some touch up. Some of them need to be redone because they're a little colder than they should be. Um, I'm dealing with two different thicknesses of metal and I kept adjusting the welder and I forgot to adjust it back. But this is all in, this is all solid. This pillar has been completely rebuilt structurally now. It's This is now properly tied into this. All the structure and strength is back in here. This is good and solid. All right, day two of working on this. I started working without filming because I was using the air tools a bunch so the compressor was running so you couldn't hear me anyway. But what I did was cleaned up this pillar that I welded yesterday um, ground down the welds, put a few more welds in where it wasn't welded happy. It wasn't welded thoroughly enough for my purposes, so that I now consider done and dusted. I've been cutting away the rocker panel here because I need to build towards this corner everywhere I can to give myself as many reference points as possible to get everything as straight as possible. So what I did was, this was, if I cut back this far, the rocker was nice and solid. Um, where's the piece that came out. You can see how it gets steadily less trashed. And I gave it another extra inch past the last bad spot just to give myself the best chance. And yep, it's it is fine beyond there. Just some surface rust that I'm going to do what I can to address. Um, clean it down here. These are, I had to drill through with the spot welder. The spot welds in here were really weird and uh, like Felt like they'd done this with the stop bot weld or something because none of them were a nice neat circle. None of them just popped. So what I've also done is taken the replacement rocker panel and cut this piece out of it, which is shortened and then took the lip off because this piece, actually, the original piece runs up to here. There's actually a seam sealer where it would... So I think these overlap. Yeah, these, it overlaps up here and there's some seam sealer there. But I don't need to go that far up, so I'm not gonna because it, again, keeps everything reference-wise as straight as possible. So what I can do now is fit this on here and then basically make a cut right up against this with the um, angle grinder, and that'll give me my straight edge here to weld to. And then once that will sit in, I can clamp it along the bottom to where the bottom's supposed to be, and then I can cut the top here because I intentionally when I cut this cut with as close to this edge as I could and when I cut this I cut as close to the inner edge as possible so that I can run the angle grinder right down the middle split the difference and get that exactly where it needs to be this little tab on the end is going to get cut off I just use that again for locating purposes it's the same reason why this corner is still in place because that gives me the 90 degree to know where this 90 degree sits so I'm going to get that all trimmed up so that this fits in here properly. Treat the inside of this real quickly um, and spray some something in there. So probably just going to use a um, 
rust proofing enamel because I'm going to come back almost certainly here and spray the entire inside of this with cavity wax but that's a future thing While I'm waiting for the rust treatment on that to dry, I was working on over here and um, got this trimmed up. Originally, this was all going to be one patch panel, and then I realized I basically have two separate jobs here. I have to just fix the easy rust on the outside over here, but down here I have a bunch of rebuilding to do, as well as trimming a panel designed for a longer van to fix. They only make one wheel well. And us shorty guys have to like hack it down. So what I did was just trimmed. So this is just one piece I have to deal with. So in the cut process of trimming this, I had some problems because I didn't realize this wheel well stayed so close to the outer panel as high up as it did. I thought it sloped in much quicker. I was completely misunderstanding what I was feeling from the other side. So that means that don't worry about the, I'm not worried about the two holes, but I managed to cut through it there, cut through it there, and then cut through it through most of that. So that's a problem. What I'm gonna try and do is get what I'm gonna try and do is get in here and maybe it's better from to do it from, I might do it from the other side, but basically I'm just gonna tack this piece and the main piece of the wheel well together in multiple places, and then I'm just gonna seam seal that gap. I'm not gonna try and solidly weld all of that because I'm gonna just put too much heat and distortion into this for very little beneficial effect. So I need to clean this and probably gonna have to spray it with the same treatment, which means I'm gonna get stuck. <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna do that little bit of welding on those, on that seam, Just weld these holes up and stuff, get this basically ready for this patch to go on. Um, patch cut okay, but not great. I was having some issues in certain areas getting it to cut the way I wanted it to. So a couple of the gaps are a little bigger than I want them to, and I need to finish dealing with this corner. But I'm going to get that prepped so I can get this in here so I can weld it up. So this has all been trimmed back and the new patch has been made for in here. Um, same thing as before, I cut through over here so I did the same thing, I tacked it up. This has got some pretty heavy pitting on it so that's going to also get rush treated. And I discovered this is supposed to be attached in the back and it's not properly attached. It looks like there's some like holes like it was supposed to have a bolt but it doesn't and one of them looks like it was tacked with a welder. So what I think I'm going to do is after I get this in the right place and I get this attached to it, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to tack that other one in with a welder. Um, this right here was because I screwed the entire panel on in a couple places so I could then trim out the section I needed. And that was just neat. That's just welding up the screw hole takes no effort whatsoever. So this is ready for rust treatment. That's ready for rust treatment. That's been rust treated and is going to get paint. So I'm at the step now where I just have to basically spray rush treating on the other those two and let them sit overnight and Then I can come out tomorrow got everything now to the point where I can weld these patches in the backs of these got the paint ground off where The welds are gonna be and then covered in a coat of zinc rich primer and Then where I'm not gonna be welding. I added a coat of master series just as a little extra protection 
on the body I basically did the same thing. Master Series Anti-Rust Paint, where I'm not welding, weld through primer, where I am where, welding. I'm not sure I like this weld through primer, but we'll see. Over here, same deal. And then what I did was, because I didn't have a good stick, I put a brush on the end of a piece of hose and dunked it in the paint and then basically shoved that in here as deep as it would go. Put, pulled it out, put more paint on it, did it again and again until I felt like I'd gotten a decent amount of paint in there. So that'll hopefully protect the rest of that rocker in the middle where I'm not going to be replacing it. I am going to still have to replace further down, but this middle section I'd rather not weld both ends up and then end up having to replace that anyway. So yeah, I'm going to set you up and I'm going to see if I can get these three patches welded in. Hopefully this goes cleanly. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have body work no matter what but I'd like to minimize how much I warp the shit out of this. All right. done so this is all welded in there's definitely high and low spots like I expected but overall I think it came out pretty good the only here this panel is definitely in relative to the main part that's gonna be my biggest problem but it came out okay this is all in this all came out pretty decent the width of the stamping here and the original stamping are not quite right so both transitions are a little weird and then I've got the rocker all in and welded up in the back. So, yeah. It's already improvement, just for all being there. And now I've got to get that corner built out so that I can call this done. I rebuilt this inner area here. I'm gonna clean it up a little and it's gonna get seam sealed in there, so don't worry about the gaps. Um, and I'm trying to fit this piece, but I've discovered a major problem. This piece was made for the longer van, and this not only, obviously it was longer here between the door and the um, wheel well, but the angle was very different. As you can see, it went took a lot longer to go in. So I've got a massive gap there. So what I'm basically going to end up having to do is just force this in and tack it and accept the shape that I get um, and then smooth it out as best as I can after the fact. I'm going to come in here and cut this down so that I can meet the two panels here where they will 
and then this is basically going to get bent in intact and then trimmed and bent in intact and trimmed and bent in intact until it all meets up and then I'm going to have to just do the best I can to make all the shapes work properly there but I mean I'm getting there it's just going to take a while because I'm trying to fit a panel that was never designed to be fit there. So there we are. It is far from perfect, but I think it's pretty acceptable. Um, I still got to do a little grinding here and there, and then this is all going to need filler to smooth it out. But I think given what I had to work with, that came out pretty good. This transition could be a little nicer, and this edge is a little awkward right in here, like the seam itself. But Again, given what I had to work with, how much of this was gone, and how the panel I was putting in wasn't the right one, I think I did okay. This also, this could have been a cleaner transition. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with that. That's definitely far better than it was, so I mean that's a win. Alright, and here's the last part of the wheel well repair I have to do here. Basically, I need to make a plate that's going to cover this, cover this, and fill in in here. I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to make one plate that comes across and fits in here and just comes straight down and then make a second plate that ties this in and seals that all up because that'll get all the directions I need to closed up so that there's no place for mud and crap to get thrown back into this area. So this is the back plate, it's got wet paint on it, but that's the one that goes there to seal off everything from that direction. This one comes in from the side to seal up everything back there. Between those two, I'm basically 99% sealed. There's going to be a little bit in this corner that's not going to be welded up, but I'm going to get that with seam sealer. Other than that, it's going to be sealed around here, around here, all up in here. Um, in here, I'm going to tack it in place enough to keep it in place. And then I'm going to seam seal that as well, just because too much welding back here and I'll distort the outside over here, which defeats all the work I did trying to get that, keep that shaped as good as possible. So it's going to get a couple of tacks um, and welded and then seam sealed. Once I have those two in, which they need to dry for a couple of minutes before I fit them up, as soon as they're dry, uh, as soon as they're in, I can slap a coat of rust proofing paint on everything in here and then I'll come back tomorrow and seam seal it and undercoat it and it'll be done. All right, those last two patches are in and welded up as much as I'm going to. So I declare this wheel well done as far as the welding part is concerned. I'm going to be putting rust proofing paint on here and seam sealing it and undercoating it but I'm not going to bother to show you all that because it's I mean it's paint and undercoating and seam sealer whoop dee dee but yeah I'm very happy with how this came out it looks respectable 
even before I'm putting filler on it, so that's nice. This is all sealed up now properly in here in a way that should discourage any further rot. Like I said, I'm going to be putting seam sealer down in here to try and encourage all the crap, water and crap to just pour out the bottom. But yeah, this is all done. This is all fixed. This is all sealed up. Very happy. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.